Today, I'm going to show you how to open and submit a case to HPE online using the serial number. First of all, first of all, here's some of the information that we need before continuing. You need the customer's name, contact, phone number, email address, and the address of the equipment. You also need the serial number and sometimes the product number. It's good to have the, the issue or problem, a description of the problem, and any troubleshooting that you may have done. An optional thing is if it's a, a hard disk failure, you might need the part number ahead of time to help the case speed up. Here's the link below to start all activity. Now we are here at the HP Enterprise Support Portal. Here is where we choose the type of device we are logging the case for. In this case, we're doing it for storage. So you click here, HP Server Storage and Networking. Then at this page, since we're doing it by serial number, you click here, click on product by serial number, and remember the information that we gathered earlier. And then here is where you enter the serial number from before. And then hit go. Right now it has pulled up the information based on that serial number. And you can see the warranty status, serial number, type of product. What we need to do is go to get help from HPE and hit submit or manage support cases. At this point, it asks you if you want to submit a case based on this serial number. You hit submit case. Here is where it asks me for my HP passport, which you should have before starting this process. You put your user ID information in here, usually as an email address, and then your passport. If you're regularly using this computer, you can click on this box here and it will remember you next time. And then simply click on sign in. At this point, it pulls up the information like the SAID, agreement number, the account reference, serial number, and product number in this area right here. Below, here's where you enter the case details. In our case, we are doing a failed hard drive on an EVA 8100. So the case title could be failed HDD. Operating system is optional. As you can see, there's no red star right next to it. A uh, type of product. Here you can do Severity, low, normal, critical degraded, or critical down. You decide on this. In my case, it's normal, it's an EVA. Um, there's no real problem because there's only one failed drive and the system is not in a critical condition. Here is where we put in information on the problem description. Information regarding the problem. A more precise description, i.e., like the fault indicator, the color of it, and, and anything like that. Next, you put the information, any troubleshooting that you may have done, in this box below. Last of all, then you put the information for contact. First name, last name, phone number, email address, equipment contact, your company's name and address, and fill in the rest of the blanks. Country. It's as simple as that. One key element in speeding up the case is to put in the suggested part because this speeds up the case and allows the HP support to get the part ordered a little quicker. 
In this case, I will put the part in here. Once you fill out the information at the bottom, hit submit, and your case is open at HP. You'll receive an email, and HPE support will keep you up to date with your case when an engineer is coming, when the part is coming, etc. After submitting, you will receive this page, which will tell you that you have successfully submitted a case. It will give you your case ID. It will give you a link to send email attachments, say any diagnosis or any logs that you may have. The information will be case number and all the details you have put in before. You can keep this information at hand for later reference. And that's simply it. You have created a case successfully. Thank you for watching my video on how to open and submit an HPE case using the serial number. Please don't forget to subscribe and get the latest videos as they come out.